Hello everybody, this is William Frisbee. Welcome back to more or less play Paper Mario 2. In the last part, we came here to Twilight Town, which surprisingly looks nothing like Twilight. Thankfully. I don't know why I keep bringing it up if I hate it so much, but that's beside the point. This episode, we're going to be talking to this guy and find out more about why people are turning into 3D pigs! My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa, cursed? Yes, cursed. This is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is, you see. Yon town is a forest and its end is hot. There's an ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains the that when the steeple bell rings, one of those twilighters living here in the village become a pig. When my loved ones become swine, will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried. I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it? It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. Uh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star, gotta be! Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Star Steeple, are you? <laughs> Unthinkable. Well, screw you, old man. We're going to go there, and we're going to do... Whatever we do, kill baddies and get crystal stars and fix things. We're going to fix things, okay? Apparently you guys are very cowardly if you guys can't actually send someone there and I'm going to ignore the house that's sniffling for some reason. And let's just get out of here, but we need to talk to this guy first, I guess. Nasty monster lives in the world's past here. I'm serious, that's what somebody said. If we still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond the town gate thing. Isn't that kind of cliched? You gotta be kidding me. Fine, let's go ask. You know, thinking about it, there's plenty of monsters probably up ahead. I mean, come on. Is that the bell again? Ah, oh, great. Well, the, the bell ring, Mario, doesn't that mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched it wasn't me. my turn to get pigged. You know, I kind of had to wonder... Wouldn't we be immune considering that we weren't here when the curse started? So I don't really... Whoa! Crap! He's a pig. Well, we can't do anything about that. I don't think. Let's... Maybe he's a talking pig? Well, that ain't good. Don't you think the pig... This pig is the mayor? What are we gonna do now? We need that dude's okay to pass through the gate. You know, we could just hammer that guy. Oh, well. Oh, hopefully we're still immune like I thought we were. And was that the bell or did, am I a bit late? Oh, no, it wasn't the bell. I thought I heard the bell. Never mind. What? The mayor's a pig. Oh no, what will we do? A govern ourselves? There's just no way I can let you through now. It's a martial law time. Just forget about it. Well, screw you too, man. Ah, uh, so now what? Um, I'm gonna go back... To this guy's house, and maybe I can find something in. Ah, never, never mind. Let's see it. There's a star piece behind there. There really isn't anything we could do with these crows. I wonder what's in here. This is another one of these guys. Living in this dark place, it's so depressing, you know. I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. You know, turning into a pig might not be too bad. Just saying. Oh well. And I don't really need to. I was thinking of maybe going into the place to heal, and I really don't think I need to. Oh well. Let's see, I could talk to the people inside the house again. He's still there. Great. So what's going on in here, I wonder? This is causing the house to sniff. Oh, a customer. I'm sorry, but we're not open right now. Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig. My husband went through the woods yesterday to collect herbs. 
So no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig, we got in a fight before he left. I had called him a chauvinist pig. And now he really is a pig. But he was a sweet side, too. And then when shoppers got rude, he's just so many. I wish he wouldn't. And I... No. Well, uh, but, 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 I don't care. So, hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take anything in the store that might help you, know, you know? Um, well, I could, but you have nothing here, so, yeah. Oh, that was a bell. I know for sure it was a... Da ha ha! You're a pig! Now I can go through because you can't do anything to me. Ha 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 ha! Ah, I am such a good person. And... Why is there a black key here? Well, whatever. Okay, moving along. Just thought I might hit that tree for no reason. Nothing there, nothing there. So that was entirely pointless. Whoa! Hyper Goombas. They're here now. Don't really have much to say. Um. These guys can charge up like they did in the last game. That's about all you really need to know. Um, I forget how much HP to have. Why am I having such a mental breakdown right now? Why can't I think of anything to say? And hey, that was pretty good. Eh? Yeah. Ah. Thought I could do that again. So I'm gonna try to super hammer this time. Hopefully I'll get it to work. Yes! It's got it to work again! Yay! Okay, bingo time. Do I get it this time? No, I do not. I suck at bingo, I have to admit. Not the game bingo itself, but that bingo in particular. I, particularly, I have a hard time with that one for some reason. And there's the hyper Goomba charging attack that I know and hate. No, you're not going to be using that for long! And we got six star points out of those three guys, so that's two per Goomba, it seems. Which would be pretty nice. And I apologize if my commentary is being a little bit lazy at this point in time, because as you can probably tell, this area does not... Hey, Super Shroom. This area is a bit weird in the way that makes me feel. I get it kind of a... Uh, sullen, I don't know. Oh, hey, look. There's a pig here and a key here. And that key could probably go to that lock that we saw in the shop earlier, which would be really useful. And it just winks at us, so... We're just gonna go back to the shop. And I'm just gonna cut to when I get there. Alright, we're back at the house, people, and we have the key, so now we can go inside and do the stuff that we need to do, like open this door and stuff. And... Hey, Jelly Ultra, and oh, there's the black chest, but first I'm going to get all this stuff, because this stuff is catching my eye more, and what's in here? It's a badge. Defend plus badge, I really won't be using that anytime soon, though. Hold up, hey, who's there? I just heard a voice. There's no way that people can be here. Seriously, I just that's just so unlikely. Why is that? Oh, what do you say? You've seen a chest like this before, get out of here. No, 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 I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm liking. You don't have any eyes. Unless I'm looking through the keyhole, but that would be different. I'm not, seriously, just get out me out of here, you'll see. Don't let, don't make me beg. But, come on, you know how ridiculous you sound right now. I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when you get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a... Well, a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go to special places. Doesn't that sound nice? And indeed, that is true, because that's kind of what it is. Aw, oh, come on, please. Just find the key and open the chest, okay? I knew it's here somewhere, and I just can't go look for it myself, because I'm in here. So pretty, pretty, please. <coughs> okay. Oh, thank goodness. You're going to let me out a happy day. Wee Fools! Oh, like we didn't see this coming. Yes, yes. Open up and stuff. What were you expecting? Did you think a lo lovely lady would pop out or something? Judging from your voice, I would say I was expecting a man. I 
muscular man or something, but I'm just going to skip over your dialogue because I know what you're saying. Ooh, I've been cursed and it's so terrifying and really it's going to help me out and stuff and I really shouldn't be scared because really you could be doing worse things to me. And yes, I understand it's so scary. Press B to return to normal, yeah, yeah. Bye! See you never. And thanks for the ability, slash curse, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so now that that's done, we can go back to where that tree was, and actually, another email. Go back to the tree and go under it and do stuff. Hooray! Yay. Alright, we're back at the tree, and now if we just do this and go under, and there we go. Don't know what I was trying to say there, because that sounded kind of random. Hey, this is a tree. This doesn't look like it should be long, so let's blow it away, and... Oh, behold, it was a pipe all along. Or maybe a gre or maybe a tree blew in the grew in the pipe, so who knows. Well, I'm thinking of going through the rest of this in the next episode. I am being very lazy today, so I'm sorry. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.